if you have created a form something like this with the help of your visual builder application and don't know how to validate the form field like suppose few of the fields within our form will be required and there will be few transformations applied on the date and so and so forth fields and when the user clicks on the submit button or any button as such and it will straight away go to the back end that is database or any other system and it will corrupt the system now if you want to know how we can restrict this and validate the form parameters that is with the help of inbuilt features in visual builder before clicking on submitting the form then this class is for you in this class we are going to learn how we can make use of inbuilt feature of this form layout and validate each and every field before the user submits the details to the back end system so without wasting much time let's begin with our hands on i have created this test validation project in the oracle visual builder application and here is the form layout which i have shown in the preview earlier this class now i have made few of the field that is name field and the date of birth field as required and when the user clicks on the button we can name this button to submit i have kept as is it is coming as successful it shouldn't be the case there is a inbuilt feature available in visual builder that is the validation component we can search for the validation over here you will find a validation group over here just you need to wrap this form layout that is within this validation group you have to locate in the structures where is your form layout it's over here we can just drag this and make the form layout within this validation group or we can go to the code view over here and search where it is the form layout in your case it's over here for me what i will do is i will drop this validation group that is before this form layout just drop it over here so it has dropped in a wrong location just cut it and make it that is paste over here that is just before the form layout now also you have to make sure this is a html syntax it is using in the code view there will be a ending tag for every starting tag validation group ending tag just cut it from here and you need to paste this ending tag after the form layout because we are wrapping this form layout within the validation group like this once you cut and paste just format this document the formatted document will look something like this also in the structure you have to verify that the form layout should be within this validation group this is done go to the design view in the design view you won't feel the difference over here it will be available only in the code validation group is something which doesn't modify your user interface you have to click this validation group and go to all that is over here in the structure we need to click if you have not selected it will highlight over here as well but it will be little difficult in the design view to select the validation group if it is happening in your case it's well and good but in actual project scenario you will have lot of fields within this form in my case it's only three so make use of structure select all in the attributes there will be a valid so here we need to create one variable and we need to attach over here that should be of type string so i will create one variable click on this and here we need to click on this create variable also we can make use of this variables tab and create here i am going to create a variable called as valid click on create it will automatically add over here the validation group will hold the value of the validation of this form layout or any component around which you have added this validation group in most of the cases this will be added around the form layout when all the details within the form are valid then this valid variable will hold the value that is valid v a l i d now we need to go to this button select the events over here and enter into the button action here we need to check what is the value of the valid so in order to check that we can make use of this if condition drop it over here move this confirmation that is to true select this if condition we need to write the if condition over here click on the expression builder just drop it over here the valid page variable provide equal to equal to equal to and write valid click on save now in the false what we need to do is we need to drop this fire notification over here in the summary i will give some random name so that we can finish this class early validation error done just go to the page designer click on this live button and straight away click on this button we are getting validation error because we are having this two fields as marked as required 
Next, I will click the button by filling this form details. In the name, I will give over here as Hussein. In the salary, I will leave the salary as empty. And in the date of birth, I will give date of birth as today's date that is 30th of November 2022. Just click on this button. Now, you are getting the successful. Suppose I am removing the name that is Hussain from here and clicking on button. Again, we are getting the validation error because we this is marked as required and you will get a message over here enter a value same thing we will preview in the browser click on this button our application will open in a preview mode in the browser first of all i will click on this button we should get a validation error that's good in the name i will provide the name as umar over here and click on button again we are getting the validation error over here just close the notification salary in this, I didn't put any conditions or it is not marked as mandatory. In the date of birth, I will provide today's date that is 30th of November 2022. Click on button. Now, this time it is marked as successful. So, like this, with the help of this valid property or the attribute available in the validation group, we can get to know what is the status of validation of the form. Suppose few of the fields we can make as mandatory, few will have transformations. Most of the date fields will have the formattings to be done. All the validation details of the fields or the form will be stored in this validation or the valid variable and we can make use in the button action change and then there we can validate and throw the notifications to the user. So like this we can avoid the data to be getting corrupted and also we can avoid long coding with the help of JavaScript by making use of this inbuilt feature of Visual Builder.